Have you ever taken a supplement and never felt anything? I certainly have because I've taken many different supplements in my life. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the top supplements that have worked the best for me. Do it. First, as a disclaimer, this video is about my personal experience. I do rely on a little bit of scientific studies and clinical studies, but this is still about my personal N equals one experience with different supplements and how I have reacted to them and what kind of results have I gotten. But do you want to slow down aging? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. So the first supplement that I've noticed that works quite well for me is HMB. HMB or beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate is a byproduct of leucine, the amino acid. HMB has been shown to reduce exercise induced muscle damage and catabolism. It can also support muscle protein synthesis and mTOR activation. The biggest thing I've noticed while taking HMB is that it's much easier for me to maintain and build muscle tissue. Now when it comes to HMB then there are studies that actually show that it doesn't really like build additional muscle especially especially in individuals who are already trained. And I'm not saying that it like makes me build muscle tissue. What I'm saying is that HMB reduces my muscle catabolism that I might experience. And this is what I noticed specifically in the context of me doing intermittent fasting with a slightly extended fasting window. And if you have a slightly reduced protein catabolism during the 24 hour period and a positive net positive for muscle anabolism, then you will end up building muscle. So HMB doesn't really yeah, build muscle tissue in my experience either, but it reduces the muscle catabolism that then enables you to reach a positive anabolic state. Now, of course, if I were to be eating a different kind of a diet, if I were to have three meals, four meals or something, then HMB probably wouldn't work because you do get like some small amounts of HMB from a diet as well. And uh, just stimulating protein synthesis with actual food is superior to HMB in terms of maintaining muscle tissue and building it. But in my particular case where I prefer to do the one to two meals a day, then uh, that's what just works better for me. And uh, without the HMB, I mean, I still make improvements. I just would have to replace the HMB with something else such as essential amino acids or just consuming like a protein shake which I'm actually doing as well and the second and third supplement as well that actually has worked for me in this context as well are essential amino acids and whey protein shake the reason is pretty much similar you just increase your protein synthesis and help to maintain and build muscle tissue which in my context of doing intermittent fasting is especially effective that I found that works the second supplement that I noticed that it definitely works for me is NMN now NMN is it's an NAD booster the clinical evidence about NMN and its its efficacy is still somewhat controversial but personally when I do take NMN that I notice I just have more energy and uh, I can get away with less sleep especially if I have like you know have some circadian mismatch or I have a short night of sleep then uh, taking NMN certainly definitely like brings my energy levels back to normal and this is the time that I usually do take NMN I don't take NMN all the time right now I take it only if I need to like catch up on some lost sleep or if I'm experiencing some aspects of circadian mismatch because NAD metabolism is directly linked to, to your sleep wake wellness cycles and the circadian rhythms as well. Supplement number four is gonna be turkesterone. Now this is another controversial supplement because many people say that it doesn't work and uh, there's no point in taking it. Turkesterone is a form of ectosteroid. It's basically like an insect hormone that may have some anabolic and androgenic effects. It does have studies that it might help with muscle growth and protein synthesis in animals and insects. When it comes to humans then at least based on the current evidence turkesterone shouldn't really work for humans and uh, they do find that it doesn't have like any superior effect in terms of protein synthesis but personally when I have taken it then that's just my own anecdotal experience and I have noticed that when I take turkesterone especially in slightly larger doses I notice a difference in terms of my muscle strength specifically I don't notice any muscle growth difference but uh, I am like always like maybe five to ten percent stronger with turkesterone than without and I have actually controlled for it several times I've done it like three times I've uh, tested like everything else is the same my diet my sleep my training uh, routine everything else is the same and I just add or remove turkesterone and every time I use the turkesterone in larger doses then I do notice that yeah I'm like five to ten percent 
and uh, stronger. But I don't think that it's placebo because I was already aware of the fact that in humans, testosterone hasn't been shown to have any superior effects for muscle growth. So before I even started taking testosterone, I already knew that it shouldn't work, <laughs> if, you, if you get what I mean. I was already aware of the fact that it doesn't have any like magical benefits for muscle growth. I just wanted to test it for a few times. And over the course of these uh, two to three times that I have tested it on and off, I actually noticed that yes, for me at least, it works. And the way it works through is just increasing protein synthesis similar to HMB and just, you know, like creatine or essential amino acids. So it's nothing like very powerful. It's just it's like an additional way to like increase protein synthesis. Son of a and the last supplement on the list is going to be glycine, which is my kind of favorite supplement. I started taking glycine only like two to three uh, years ago. And before that, I was already in very good health. My bioworkers were pretty good and I was in good shape. And the biggest difference I've noticed after starting to take glycine is that it's just it's very beneficial for sleep quality. It's, it's quite effective for blood sugar regulation, it helps to support collagen synthesis, obviously. And uh, just that's why it helps with like the skin health and the joint health as well. Now I'm already like very chill and relaxed person. I'm not anxious. I'm not like uh, super aroused or super like jittery or anything like that. But uh, even then I noticed that the glycine is just, yeah, like it's a very like stable and it tastes great as well. So there you have it. Again, this is my list. This is my subjective experience. Take it for what you will. You might want to try it out for yourself, but uh, yeah, don't think that this is like definitely me saying that these supplements work for this reason. Like I said, like HMB and uh, trichesterone, they're actually very controversial and they might not even work. But I personally do notice that, uh, yeah, there is a small difference that uh, I experience. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.